All right, so we're uh, just like that. We're bringing the vlogs back. Man, I look pretty good in this lighting. Woo! Man, those eyes are. Thank you, God, for giving me some blue eyes. <laughs> um, we are driving to LAX. Daniel and Diana are going to Mexico. Mexico. To go harvest uh, potote. <laughs> no, they're going on a Jill Feelers retreat. Um, Casual bicep. Yeah, and we're going to be house sitting for them while they're gone. And they have this great little place, and we're going to enjoy their new home while they're gone. Um, but yeah, we're going to start. Me, uh, me and Matt are going to be together. You can see Matt back there. He's that handsome guy, Hercules looking type. Uh, while they're gone, we're gonna be pulling out this iPhone and vlogging, so you guys can kind of see what the life is like these days. Let me let me say something. <laughs> God is good, really good, really really good. Do you know that? He is. He's really good. And uh, Diana's back there. Hey, Diana. Um, me and Diane are getting along pretty good these days. We have our ups and downs. We try. But one thing I will say has say constant is that we don't pretend to like each other when we don't like each other. Or at least I haven't. I don't think she has either. And when we like each other, we, we express that as well. She says because she took whoa, my whoa, wife. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was like a triple... <laughs> Yeah, it was. She's sassy, I'll tell you. A little sassy, a little sassy caddy. Cinnamon roll sassy. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, welcome to the vlogs. And one thing I want to mention real quick, uh, as we are in LA today, it's unfamiliar territory, you know, we prayed a prayer that God would direct us and uh, guide us to whomever he wants us to meet or whatever he wants us to do. And so today we're kind of relying on the Holy Spirit to take us, uh, to take us. Okay. Yeah, I mean that. When you live in that place, like when you when you live surrendered to God, like I feel like I'm just waking up every day, just like God, what are you gonna do today? Like yeah. what what awesome things are gonna happen today? Because they keep happening every day. And um, yeah, I'm just I so want to stay in that vein, just expecting good things from Him, and that, and expect it, and it'll come. Staying in that yeah. vein. Um, yeah, I was in Whole Foods. I was just like looking around. I'm like, who, who's gonna who's gonna run into me? Like, I'm like, expecting, I'm expecting something big to happen today, even though there's absolutely nothing planned. That's right. What's up, everybody? We're on the beach here in Santa Monica. Uh, T Mango's mango, uh, monkeying around back there. You saw that. <laughs> this is like an outdoor uh, body weight gym. A lot of rings, a lot of really awesome people, like incredible talent going on here. Like I've seen some things I've never seen before in real life. That swing is a lot like <laughs> life. If you do it halfway, you're gonna fail. But if you commit and just go for it, it's amazing what can happen. You just gotta go for it. And I gotta go work on this because I got the kip like really built into my system and I can't even swing anymore. So I gotta reverse think. So retrain my body every day. See you guys. So as you can see, Matt's doing muscle ups behind me. And you know what muscle ups remind me of? <laughs> a lot like life. It looks really hard if you if you go from not being able to do a pull up to trying to do muscle ups. It's very difficult. But if you just take one step at a time, one foot in front of another, you'll be able to accomplish whatever it is you're trying to do. You know, have you ever heard that saying? It's a cinch by the inch, but hard by the yard. If you want to learn muscle ups, first learn how to hang, then learn how to pull up a little bit, then learn how to do a full pull up. Don't try to do the. If you if you look at the destination, if you go if you try to go from A to Z, it's gonna be very difficult. But if you go from A, B, C, you'll eventually make it to, to Z. Move your body. <laughs> make your body move. If you don't move it, you'll you lose, lose it. it. You know I love handstands, right? And this our friend here, Royland, <laughs> he's got a great handstand. Wow, that's really good. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> Not many people can do that right there. Huh? 
That's that's freaky. <laughs> wow, man. That was amazing. Thank you. That was uh, it's a real honor. I was telling my friend to uh, to be able to witness this in real life. I mean, not many people in the world can do that. From what I believe. I mean, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I, I never seen anyone in front of me doing it. I think some people can do it, maybe. So you, it's Royland? Yeah, Royland. Yeah, so I went up to Royland. I was like, man, your handstand is great. And he was like, you're one of the brothers, aren't you? Yeah, I recognize you. <laughs> so we, we know each other, but we didn't really know that we knew each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. I have seen you on YouTube and the other two brothers talking. And you have a Facebook page? Yes. Royland Hand Dancing? You can find Royland Hand Balancing. Royland Hand Dancing. Okay, cool, man. Well, that is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, found it. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Wow. Thank you, sir. All right, I'm gonna give you an ant's eye view of me climbing the rope. So we're here with Henry, he's from Zambia. He was doing all these crazy swings on the rings and then when he was tired, I was like, I'm gonna race this guy when he's tired so I can win. <laughs> <laughs> you're not cheating, you're not trying sometimes. Okay? Right. Henry, do you have anything to say to YouTube? Uh, what's your name again? I'm Timothy. Timothy? Yeah, you really gave me a run for my money. <laughs> I thought I'm pretty good at it too. You are? No, he really, I'm, I'm good at it. And you're good at it and he's tired. How old are you? 48. Woo! And, <laughs> and he's about twice my age too. <laughs> so, so this is Kyla, Henry's daughter. Hi. What do you think about your dad climbing the rope that fast? I think it's pretty awesome <laughs> because I really like the rope too and it's really fun to do. Yeah, that's amazing. Your dad, you're, you're lucky to have your dad so fit at 48. <laughs> All right, thank you Kyla. I'll tell you what, this is one unique place. If you hang out here, it's like it's like contagious. You can't help but improve your skill. I mean, there's just people all around doing amazing things. He might not be able to do the best handstand here, but he, he might have the best body. <laughs> yeah, I gotta match the body to the technique. That's what I'm going home to work on. Always room to work, always room to get better. Always. Ninja Man. Hey guys, okay, so we're at our next Sunday vlog day destination, and this location is called Lauren's house, Lauren's yeah. apartment. Hi guys. How do we know you, Lauren? Oh, how do you know you? Um, uh, or you know me. How do um, I, know I was on the last Rob Ross retreat in Big Sur. Pretty magical spot. She it's was. A lot of fun. This girl right here, she's legit. She's strong, she's smart, and she'll make you hurry up in your storytelling. <laughs> I, I don't know. Think so. I don't know what that means exactly, but true. we're gonna go with it. <laughs> and, all right, my storage is running out, so I had to delete some videos. But yeah, we're here at Lauren's place. Now she has this roommate. Her name's Courtney, and she's a doctor who just sprained her ankle. 
and you're not going to get to meet her just yet. We're going to build the stage for her, so it's really exciting. But check out this view of uh, their apartment. It's pretty sweet. There's Matt. And we're going to cook up some dinner, but we're going to go to Mosaic Church in we're L.A. Gonna praise on. Yeah, we're going to praise God. We're gonna praise Jesus. Hallelujah. At 8 p.m. Sorry. All right, so Courtney's now in the kitchen with us, but are you ready to see Courtney? <laughs> Here she is. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode. We're now getting kitchen stuff. We have a nice view of the marina at sunset, and we're welcoming our new guests. And if you can't tell yet, yeah, Courtney's kind of camera shy. I'm camera shy, <laughs> but I do have a boot going on. I did bust my ankle on a hike yesterday and walked 10 miles on it. So, uh, warrior. Can't for it now. That's warrior stuff. Right <laughs> I was just joking. I, obviously, you're not camera shy. Most people are scared to be on camera, but not this one. Anyway, yeah, she's a doctor, so that's pretty cool. A pediatrician. Uh, she saves babies. I try to. Woo -woo. Um, all right, and we'll be back. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. Wow, what you got there, Matt? Well, we got a little uh, mix of vegetables here. We got some peppers. We got zucchini. We got onion. We got asparagus. We got a little... Uh, Got a little time going in there. Bro, would you uh, show us the abs one more time? Is that possible? <laughs> oh. Eat like this, you get those. I'm just saying. 70% is your diet. 70% is your diet. Man, you're going to make me go blind with those things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I honestly really believe that like, cooking for yourself does so much for you on a spiritual level, a physical level, a mental level. It makes you appreciate the food that you eat. Your body appreciates you doing it, um, and it, yeah, it just feels like you're doing. It. To me, when I eat food that I cook, I feel like I'm doing something right. Um, I try to cook as many meals at home as I can, uh, but also because when you eat out and you're, kind, it's kind of like you're you're trying to hurry. Like that's not good for your body. Like you should take your time and eat. Really concentrate on chewing the food when you're eating it. Um, you know, smell the food, taste the food, taste the textures, and I think all of that plays into your body being able to process it properly. I mean, I think we're supposed to connect with our senses. Something else we're going to implement into uh, the Ambassador Program is I'm going to give uh, consultations on health and fitness. Uh, if you are struggling with weight or just want to improve your body uh, physically, I'm going to be giving nutritional advice and also uh, workout advice if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I've been doing, you know, doing my own research and studying nutrition and fitness for the last 10 years of my life. Probably spent more time doing that than anything else and uh, just gained a lot of, and I love it. I love helping people find what fits best for them because not everything works for everybody, but there are some basic things that every person can learn that will really help them see the results that they want to get um, because we all want to see results, right? I mean, I do. Um, so yeah, and also want to definitely plug the Oregon Retreat and on that retreat will be my first time officially, even though I did some of this on the Big Sur retreat, officially uh, taking over uh, in charge of the food. I don't know what, what I've got some crazy ideas, like maybe calling somebody ahead in time and telling them to go kill an elk for us and we just eat elk the whole time or something crazy and just trying different ways to make food, but I'm really excited about it. I've been really wanting to have kind of a free reign to create some really awesome food. And I think this is going to be a, a good opportunity to do that. So yeah, if you want to taste some great food, some great healthy food, uh, come on the Oregon retreat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show up, show out. Well, if you have any uh, questions about how uh, the ambassador program, how to get in that, how to get the consultations with me, uh, go to robraws uh, at gmail.com. Uh, send us uh, an email and say, hey, I want to get in the ambassador group. I want to you know get get involved in what you guys are doing and what you guys are doing and. Uh, yeah, we welcome you into the into the Rob Rob family. I don't think you'll ever regret it. I know you won't ever regret it because I haven't regretted it one day since I've gotten involved with the Rob Rob. So yeah, raw it up. All right, wrapping up our Sunday. <laughs> she loved yeah, this, this one's <laughs> Courtney. We're here. Uh, we came to Mosaic Church, but they did not have an eight o'clock service. So don't try to come to that service in the future. But <laughs> but we did attend a uh, world missions meeting. Yeah, and uh, that's pretty cool. That sounds like a pretty cool idea. Going around the world, helping people, giving people hope. Now found on the team. in Jesus. Now I'm on the first response <laughs> team. Anyway, so I'm on the team now. It's been a great Sunday, and we'll uh, we'll see you.